welcome back to my channel my name is Yerixa and today I'm going to be making some alkaline burgers so I just wanted to show you guys how I do it I am going to follow a recipe uh, from Ty's Conscious Kitchen and I will link it down below so let's get started okay so I ended up changing location because it just looks better right here you're able to see what I'm doing in a better angle so anyways, I already started. Um, first, we're going to start with the buns, which is um, his flatbread uh, recipe. So we started with uh, um, two cups of spelt flour. And then in here, I have um, all the seasonings, which is sea salt, onion powder, oregano, and basil. Whoops. And... Um, he did add cayenne, but at this moment, I'm not going to add any because my two-year-old will be eating this as well. So first, we're just going to mix the ingredients up all the way. Really well. And then we are going to add two teaspoons of, I'm sorry, we're going to add two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. And we're going to mix it up and then we are going to add our and then we're going to add our um, spring water so he said just to add about half of the spring water half cup so first and then just mix it up well the rest until well you were supposed to do that slowly but you know that is how I do it and then I'm just going to um, mix it with my hands because I don't know it's just a lot easier for me so I'm just gonna grab it and start mixing it like this You're supposed to do this until you get a ball and as you can tell um, it's not really sticking all the way together so I might have to add a little bit of more water so let me go get some water real quick Okay, so I'm not sure how much more water, so I'm just going to put a tiny bit. Just to get it a little bit more wet. And it's looking good. Basically, you just keep rolling it into a ball.
there. So now that we have the ball, tap this right here, put this aside. Um, you're supposed to knead the dough for like five or six minutes, but I never do. I just start right away. So you just break a little ball off of it. And then you roll this. He said to roll out like a four inch circle. Not too sure how big four inches is. I think a pinky is like an inch, so kind of big. But you make it the size that you want, doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just going to make it To me, this seems a little bit on the big side. So, I'm gonna grab a pizza cutter. So I'm just gonna grab a pizza cutter and I'm just gonna cut like a circle. This should be good. So I'm going to turn on the skillet so I can start warming up. And then I'm going to roll another one out. A circle. And then you just start rolling it. And again, I am no professional. I just follow instructions, sort of. <laughs> uh, most of the time, I don't even measure. I just kind of put everything together. This time, I did measure. Um, what he said to do but once you start cooking for a while you kind of just do your own thing okay so after I roll it out I'm just going to probably take my other one so they can be matching and then just go around, oops, with the pizza cutter. And this one's like that. And I have two. I'm just going to put them on a comal. And he said to do each side like two, like every two minutes. So I'm gonna put the timer for two minutes. Said every two minutes um, just to flip it over. So that's what I'm going to do. And I definitely made way too much dough because I don't think I'm going to be making that many burgers. So in reality, I just need like, well, maybe like six because I can probably eat like two burgers, but 
But my son, Junior, he only really eats one. So just make sure it's nice and flat. Cut it up. And do it all over again. Okay, so I'm just going to clean my station and I will start on the patties. And I'm not going to measure anything for the patties. Um, so you can just look at the recipe so you can do it the correct way. Okay. So now I have my ingredients. Usually I put bell pepper as well, but I guess I ran out of bell pepper. So today we're just going to put kale. And I just do that. Cut it off the stem. Okay, so these ones, I'm going to just start chopping. Oh, a little one. And you want not too small of a piece, but you also don't want them to be huge. So that's basically how I want it, just like not too big, not too small. Then you just add it to your bowl. Then you can, I'll well, cut the onion first, it's going to put like Like this. Maybe if you want water, do you want water? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give the baby some water. So I gave Junior some water, he was thirsty. But basically with the onion, I just peel like two of the, of the, Okay, maybe I shouldn't have took this one off. I'm just gonna put it back. <laughs> I just peel two of the layers off. And I'm trying to hurry because. Okay, hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. We're making burgers, remember? Okay, so I'm just going to chop this a little bit small. is getting hungry so I'm trying to do this really quick because he's already asking for apples but I want him to eat the burgers so I'm just trying to hurry up because Junior is hungry and he's already asking me for apples but we're going to have burgers you can have the apple as a dessert so same with the tomato, I'm just going to cut it in small pieces, not too small, not too big. Uh, my tomatoes are getting a little bit old because I just had so many of them. I'm going to try cutting this one this way. Ok, 
Okay. So now that we put all of our ingredients in the bowl, we're going to put our seasonings. So I have them here. Basically, they're the same ones. Sea salt, onion powder, oregano, and basil. And then you just mix it all around. you have mixed it all around like that you're gonna add your garbanzo bean flour I like I said I'm not measuring because I'm trying to hurry so just add like a good amount like that and mix it all around And then, once you have it all mixed, you're going to start adding your water. You don't need a lot of water because you just need enough to where your ingredients are sticking together. And um, so you can cook them. So, so like if you form a patty, does it stick together? And you don't want to make it too fat, that way it could cook through kind of quick. Um, so I think this would be perfect because everything is sticking together, you see? So that's it. And then now you're just gonna put it on some grapeseed oil or avocado oil on a skillet and cook it for three to four minutes each side. And I will show you the final product. Okay, so this was the final product. I did make a hemp mayo that I will link on um, which recipe book I got that from. And then I'm just gonna put um, ketchup and avocado, and then this is how the patty turned out. It's pretty nice, and it's going to be so delicious. So you can make your own alkaline ketchup, or you can use this one. I found this one at um, Whole Foods or Sprouts, one of those. And um, the reason I got it was because they use agave nectar instead of um, the high fructose corn syrup or sugar. And also there's no natural flavors. So I really recommend this one. It's not 100% alkaline, but you know, it's close enough. But you can also make your own ketchup, like I said. So, this is the final product. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you really liked um, and try the recipe. It is so delicious. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.